Hello, sweet friends. Hope everybody's doing good and enjoying the wonderful Independence Day weekend with a little holiday day uh, surrounding it, and uh, that you guys are already praising and worshiping our Lord and our Savior Jesus this fine Sunday morning. Now, years ago, uh, I called into a radio station for a giveaway that they were having, and believe it or not, I won. Now, you young guys, uh, believe it or not, we did used to sit around our phones waiting for the people at the radio station to say, okay, now, and call in and try to be a certain caller to win a prize. And believe it or not, I sure did win that year. First time I ever done it. Well, and it was a Christian CD by a gospel trumpeter, and it was all patriotic songs. Man, I was fired up, because uh, not just because I won, but because it was a trumpet player. Now, also, I love patriotic music. I love to play it, and I love to sing it, and I thought everybody else did, too. So when I was reading the notes in the CD liner, I was surprised to read that this artist didn't even like patriotic music, didn't like to play it, didn't like to sing it, and he'd only done it because he'd felt the Lord leading him to at that time. And I guess I was naive enough to think that anyone who was an American would at least like patriotic music a little bit, I mean, after all, you know, we're Americans, aren't we? We should be proud of it, and we should show it. Well, unfortunately, we don't always do that. And I think it's the same thing with us as Christians, too. Shouldn't we be eager to let others know that we're Christians and to let them know about Jesus? Of course we should. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter 3.16 that our hearts should revere Christ as Lord and to always be prepared to answer to anyone and everyone who asks us to give the reason for the hope that we have. Now, we're to be ready when the time comes to share the gospel and to shout it from the rooftops. We need to sing it loud and sing it proud. <laughs> well, you know, in today's world, for a lot of people, it's become a popular thing to blame their problems on our country and on the leaders of our country. If they don't get their way, they say that they're just going to Leave America and go live someplace else. You know, there's, there seems to be no loyalty or commitment to our country, a country that was founded on faith in our Lord, you know, one nation under God. But yet this holiday weekend, though, let's think about that. Let's keep in mind the sacrifices that have been made to preserve this wonderful country that we live in. Today, I'm going to play a couple of patriotic hymns. And as I play them, think about this wonderful country a country where we're free to share the gospel and to worship our Lord. When we think about it, let's shout it proud and sing it loud. Have a wonderful holiday and a blessed week.